Joining me now is retired Lieutenant General Steph Twitty, former Deputy Commander of the United States European Command and an MSNBC analyst. Uh, General Twitty, it's unprecedented because unlike Fallujah and Mosul and other places we've been, Kabul, this is 300 miles of underground tunnels, hideaways, booby traps, um, you know, with potentially hostages in some of those tunnels. This is a huge dilemma for Israeli forces. Um, you talked about the tunnels. Add the tunnels, plus the streets, plus the buildings, plus the non-combatants that, that are going to be running around on the uh, battlefield as well, and then top that off with fighting Hamas. An extremely complicated mission that the Israeli forces are getting ready to embark upon. Uh, as you know, I've spent a lot of time with the Israelis. They're a tremendously professional force, uh, and I have good confidence that they'll be able to pull this mission out, but it is not without difficulty. And you've got a carrier group, one on the way, one already there uh, in the Eastern Med. That's a warning to Iran. But is there a scenario where, when this ground offensive starts, if things go badly, that there would be air support or some other kind of support from the carrier group? I, I don't think so. I think the, the intent of the force that you see in there from the United States is a deterrent uh, force for Iran and Hezbollah. I do see America getting involved if the Israeli state is threatened, uh, threaten its existence. But I don't see uh, U.S. forces getting uh, involved otherwise. As you know, Israelis, they've been through this before, where they've had attacks on multiple fronts. Think back to Egypt and Syria, and they've been able to handle uh, such pressure as what they're going through now. And so I uh, believe that they'll be able to handle Hezbollah, in the north, I also believe that they'll be able to handle Hamas. We'll see how Iran uh, unfolds here. But I think with what they're dealing with now, uh, there will be no need for U.S. involvement. And, General, there's a report from Axios. They, they're citing two diplomatic sources that Iran sent a message to Israel that they would be standing down for now, but that it could escalate quickly if the offensive begins. Would that in any way influence Israel's posture? I don't think so. Israel, they have to do this mission. They have to do it because, number one, they have hostages. Number two, their state has been threatened. They've been attacked. And so they have to go in and root Hamas out of the Gaza Strip so that they don't get attacked again as well as they got to destroy the missiles that keeps raining down on the state of Israel. And so they have to do this mission, regardless of the red air coming out of Iran. Uh, 